So here's where things get really interesting. Apple's next-generation MacBook Pro lineup has entered mass production much later than anyone expected. And according to Bloomberg's latest reports, the timeline is unlike anything we've seen before. This could mark one of the most unusual release schedules in MacBook history. For years, Apple has followed a pretty predictable rhythm. Announce new MacBook Pros in October, ship them in November, and then start teasing the next generation a year later. But this time, something's different. Apple appears to be shaking up its Mac roadmap entirely. And the ripple effects could redefine what we expect from the MacBook lineup in 2026 and beyond. According to insider reports from Mark Gurman, Apple's next 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models, powered by the M5, M5 Pro, and M5 Max chips, aren't expected to launch until late 2025 or even early 2026. That's right, the M5 generation might completely skip 2025. No new MacBook Air, no new MacBook Pro. And that's a bold move. Because historically, Apple rarely goes a full year without a major MacBook refresh. The strange silence of 2025, Apple skips the M5 launch window. Let's rewind for context. The M4 MacBook Pro lineup launched in October 2024, giving Apple fans access to the M4, M4 Pro, and M4 Max chips, which brought noticeable gains in graphics performance, power efficiency, and AI acceleration. Typically, that would set the stage for an M5 follow-up in late 2025, right? But apparently not this time. Industry analysts like Ming-Chi Kuo and Mark Gurman have both pointed toward a delayed release hinting that Apple will skip its traditional October event and push its next MacBook Pro generation to the first quarter of 2026. So what gives? Well, German notes that the timing is fluid, meaning Apple hasn't locked in a final schedule yet, but all signs suggest they're slowing down intentionally. The company seems to be spacing out its major Apple Silicon transitions to give each generation more longevity and to prepare for something much bigger potentially the redesigned OLED MacBook Pro we've been hearing about. Why would Apple delay the M5 MacBook Pro? There are a few likely reasons behind this strategic slowdown. Apple's chip roadmap is getting more complex. With the introduction of AI-optimized Apple Silicon, Apple is now designing chips that must perform not just in CPU and GPU benchmarks, but also handle machine learning and neural processing workloads for Apple intelligence. The M5 chip reportedly includes a next-gen neural engine designed for AI tasks, which could require additional development and validation time. Apple's supply chain is transitioning to OLED. The shift from mini-LED to OLED displays is one of the biggest manufacturing overhauls in the MacBook lineup's history. Apple has already introduced a tandem OLED display on the 2024 iPad Pro, and the results were spectacular. Thinner panels, improved contrast, and longer battery life. Bringing that technology to a 16-inch MacBook requires scaling up production an entirely different level. Apple wants the M5 launch to align with the redesign. Many insiders believe that Apple is deliberately delaying the M5 MacBook Pro so it can coincide with the next-generation chassis design. This redesign is rumored to be thinner, lighter, and more energy-efficient taking cues from the ultra-slim iPad Pro. In short, the delay isn't just about the chip. It's about timing the perfect convergence of new silicon, new display tech, and new design language. A year without a MacBook Pro refresh, a rare move by Apple. Let's put this into perspective. The last time Apple skipped an entire year between major MacBook Pro releases was in the M1 to M2 transition era. Back then, we saw the M2 Pro and Max models slip from late 2022 to early 2023. This kind of break is rare, but not unprecedented. Apple tends to use these quiet periods to rethink its long-term product lineup. And when it returns, it often does so with something groundbreaking. That's exactly what might be happening here. If Apple truly waits until 2026 for the M5 MacBook Pro, that would give them over 15 months of engineering time, long enough to finalize both the M5 performance line and the OLED redesign, or even prepare for the M6 prototype that's already in early development. Could Apple launch two MacBook Pros in 2026? 
Now here's a twist that's got everyone talking. If Apple does delay T, the M5 until 2026, that means the M6 generation could arrive in the same year, especially if Apple decides to do a split release cycle. Picture this. Early 2026, M5, M5 Pro, and M5 Max MacBook Pros with small design refinements. Late 2026, fully redesigned OLED MacBook Pros featuring the M6 or M6 Pro chips. Sounds crazy? Maybe not. Apple's done this before. In 2023, Apple launched the M2 Pro and Max MacBook Pros in January, only to replace them with M3 versions in October, a gap of just 10 months. The company clearly isn't afraid of accelerating its refresh cycle when it suits their strategic or marketing goals. So, a double refresh in 2026 is absolutely possible, and it might just make 2026 the most exciting MacBook year ever. Should you skip the M5 MacBook Pro? Here's the big question for anyone thinking about upgrading. If Apple releases the M5 MacBook Pro next year, should you buy it? My honest answer, probably not unless you absolutely need the latest silicon for professional workloads like 3D modeling, rendering, or high-end video production. Here's why. The M5 chip is expected to be a moderate performance bump, focusing on AI acceleration, neural task efficiency, and power management. Yes, it'll be faster, but not dramatically so. The M4 Pro and M4 Max are already incredibly powerful, and for most users, even professionals, they'll remain more than capable for years to come. So instead of spending thousands on an M5, it might make more sense to either. Wait for the OLED redesign, which will deliver the real wow factor, or snag an M4 or M3 model at a huge discount once the M5 is announced. Apple's refurbished store and third-party retailers like Amazon, B&H, and Best Buy usually offer deep discounts once a new generation hits the market. That's when you can get flagship-level performance for a much lower price. The OLED revolution, Apple's next display leap. Now let's talk about the OLED transition, because this could be the single biggest upgrade in MacBook history. Apple's new tandem OLED technology, already seen in the 2024 iPad Pro, offers two OLED layers stacked together. This design not only increases brightness and contrast, but also extends the display's lifespan which is crucial for MacBooks that users tend to keep for 5 to 10 years. Expect true blacks, vibrant colors, and massive power efficiency improvements. OLED also enables thinner displays, and when combined with Apple Silicon's thermal efficiency, it allows the overall chassis to slim down significantly. Rumors even suggest Apple's next MacBook Pro could be the thinnest yet. Following the ultra-slim direction of the 2024 iPad Pro, and the upcoming iPhone 17 Slim model. But don't worry, Apple isn't repeating the mistakes of 2016. Back then, the pursuit of thinness led to terrible keyboard reliability, poor thermals, and limited ports. This time, the company is approaching the redesign more carefully, maintaining functionality while improving portability. And that brings us to one of Apple's most exciting research areas, silicon carbon battery technology. This new battery design allows Apple to store more energy in smaller cells, meaning they can reduce device thickness without sacrificing battery life. It's the same breakthrough that allows some Android phones to pack 6,000 milliamp hours batteries in razor-thin bodies. If Apple brings that to the MacBook Pro, we could see lighter machines with even longer battery life. Could the touch bar return? Unlikely, but not impossible. A few people have speculated that the touch bar might return in the redesigned MacBook Pro. But honestly, it's unlikely. The current generation's physical function keys have been universally praised for reliability and tactile feedback. Apple's design philosophy has clearly shifted toward practical minimalism. And unless they release a dual screen or foldable MacBook, the touch bar probably won't make a comeback anytime soon. Still, the concept isn't dead. Apple has patents for flexible OLED keyboards and touch-sensitive function rows, so we might see something inspired by the touch bar, just more advanced and better integrated. Leaked experiment. The MacBook Pro with M3 Ultra. Now, here's one of the wildest discoveries from recent months. 
evidence that Apple tested a MacBook Pro with the M3 Ultra chip. Code references found in an iOS 18 beta for the iPhone 16 revealed identifiers for unreleased 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models running a N Ultra class chipset. That suggests Apple was experimenting with bringing desktop class performance to a laptop form factor. The M3 Ultra reportedly featured a 32-core CPU, an 80-core GPU, and support for up to 512 gigabytes of unified memory. That's an absolute monster configuration, easily rivaling or even surpassing desktop workstations. So, why didn't Apple release it? Likely due to heat and power limitations. The M3 Ultra would require massive cooling, and even a 16-inch MacBook Pro might struggle to dissipate that much heat without compromising noise and battery life. Still, the fact that Apple tested this proves one thing. They're preparing the foundation for a MacBook Pro Ultra, a next-level device that could arrive once the redesigned chassis improves thermal management. Looking ahead, the future of the MacBook Pro. If all these leaks are accurate, 2026 will mark the start of a new MacBook era. Here's how it could unfold. Early 2026, Apple releases the M5 MacBook Pro lineup, focusing on efficiency and incremental performance boosts. Late 2026, Apple debuts the redesigned OLED MacBook Pro, possibly featuring an M6 or M5 Ultra chip. 2027 and beyond, Apple transitions fully to OLED across all MacBook lines, with hybrid touchscreen support possibly coming down the road. And if Apple manages to integrate the Ultra Tier chip in a MacBook Pro without overheating, we could see the first portable workstation class Mac that rivals desktop performance in a laptop shell. Final thoughts. So, to sum it all up, no M5 MacBook Pro in 2025. Apple's next big release window is early 2026. The real game changer will be the OLED redesign and M6 generation. Yes, it's frustrating that Apple is skipping a full year, but history shows that when Apple takes its time, the results are often worth the wait. The 2026 MacBook Pro could redefine performance, display quality, and design all at once. Until then, if you're considering an upgrade, the M4 MacBook Pro is still an incredible choice. And once prices dip, it'll offer the best balance of performance, battery, and value on the market. But for those who crave the next leap in innovation, the wait for the OLED MacBook Pro might just be worth every second.